Hey y'all, I know it's been a really long time and I'm sorry about that. I've been feeling rather distracted. Um, I feel like I have been getting caught up in the cares of life. And although I feel like things are ramping up, I mean, I know things are ramping up. Um, I don't know if it's spiritual attack or what it is, to be honest, I would appreciate all of your prayers. Um, but I've honestly been feeling a sense of nesting, if that makes sense. Um, so when I was pregnant with my daughter, we were building our house at the time. And this was four years ago. And um, I really didn't ever... By the time we moved in, I was, you know, eight, nine months pregnant. So I, we moved in, you know, I got everything set up, and then she was born. And so the whole typical, like, you go into a state of nesting before the birth of your child. I mean, it was kind of, I mean, I kind of did it anyway, just because we were moving and we were trying to get moved in and all of these things. And, um... It just kind of, the, the situation itself supplemented for the typical um, stage of pregnancy that people go through. But I'm, full disclosure, not pregnant, although I wish I was, so pray for me there. Um, I feel like as things ramp up and as we get closer to the return of our Lord Jesus Christ, I find myself nesting. I find myself trying to improve our home situation, if not for ourselves, but for those left behind who come into our home or maybe find a new home, one that would better suit um someone in the tribulation, or even us as we continue to move through these birth pains uh, leading up to the birth of the church. And, it, and I don't know, it's just, I feel like I'm being sucked in, and I don't know if it's cares of this life, that whether for myself or for somebody else, or it's a spiritual attack trying to... Um, distract me from, you know, getting the word of, uh, the gospel out, sharing the good news. I mean, I really couldn't tell you, but that's kind of where I've been. And so that's really why I haven't been putting anything on here as I initially had hoped I was going to be doing frequently. Um, just because I've been distracted or nesting. I don't know, but anyway, um, I don't know if anybody else is going through anything like that or having those same sensations. If you are, please leave uh, a comment. I would love to, you know, see if you have any input or um, personal experiences that you're going through. But I, I mean, it's just getting so blatantly clear and overtly obvious that our Lord is returning and he is returning soon. Um, and, you know, for any non-believers who might be watching this video, um, I encourage you to drop your, drop whatever walls that you have built up and accept the free gift, free gift of salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ because he died on the cross for your sins so that you would not be destined for wrath, but would have salvation. And he rose again on the third day, ensuring that salvation for you. So he, so Jesus Christ, and this is just for any of the non-believers who might come across this video, Jesus Christ is God incarnate, which means that God is in the flesh. He lived on this earth for 33 years. He was crucified. This was for atonement of your sins. So this is the final sacrifice. When, when you sin, 
The cost of your sin is death, separation forever from God. But through Jesus, you don't have to be separated at all. You just have to believe that he is God and that he died for you and that he was your sacrifice. And he rose again from the dead, defeating death, and you will be saved. That is that is how you attain salvation, and it is very simple. It is literally just letting go of all of the worldly um, reasons why it can't be so, and accept it, and believe it, and allow it to become part of your life. Allow Christ into your life, into your heart and soul. Accept him for who he is, accept what he did for you, and you will be saved. Declare it with your mouth. You don't even have to do that, but you should. Um, declare that Jesus is your Lord and Savior, and you will be saved. So, um, if you have done that, you are instantly rapture ready, along with myself and all of the other people watching this video and all of the other videos um, as we watch for the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. And as we get closer and as we get closer, these birth pains are really picking up. Um, and will it be this fall? Maybe. Will it be this winter? Maybe. Will it be next spring? Maybe. I don't know when it'll be, to be honest. I just, I know that we... We're past the point of no return. That I do know. And it is very soon, very imminent. I have just, you know, I feel the imminency, but I also feel like we still have, I don't know, we just, we still have a little bit more to go in a way. Like, but that could be days, that could be months. Um, but I feel like we're, we're waiting on something and that's just kind of where my, my heart is. And while, while we're waiting for, you know, in pregnancy terms, your water to break, for example, or for contractions to start or whatever, um, or you're, or if you're already in labor, you're waiting to get, you know, dilated to 10 centimeters before you can start pushing kind of thing. Um, we're waiting for some ticking point. And while we wait, I can feel myself nesting. I have no other words for it. My husband even said, he's like, you're nesting. This is weird. I took pregnancy tests. I'm not pregnant. <laughs> but I do feel like we're getting really close. Really, really close. Um, and that's just kind of where I'm at, spiritually and emotionally. And I don't know if anyone else is experiencing that sensation at all. Um, just with everything going on, I feel like I've almost, I mean, I'm keeping up with it, but at the same time, I'm almost like setting it aside while I try to focus on getting my house in order. And that's kind of the phrase that I have been feeling on my spirit. Get your house in order. Get your house and your heart in order, specifically your house though. And I've been wondering what that means. And I've been hearing it in, in YouTube videos. I have been hearing it from family members. I've been hearing it from all of these different sources. And none of them are connected. And they're, you know, maybe not even speaking to me, but the phrase itself. And it just like shouts at me, like, get your house in order. And so I don't really, I've been praying about it. I don't really know. What that means and I'm thinking it might mean not necessarily my physical house but my my household and as far as my personal household my husband myself and our daughter we're we're all born again but it could be our greater household that there's members of our family who are not and so that's something I need to be working on but I also feel like there's a physical house aspect to it also and so I have been trying to get 
this house ready for after we're raptured, whoever was to come in here and find it, have materials and things that they might need, Bibles and um, information of what's happened, resources, all of that. But at the same time, I'm also like, well, I think we need land. So I don't know. I'm a hot mess. Please pray for me. Please pray that I receive guidance. And let me know if anybody else is going through what I'm going through or experiencing anything similar. I mean, I I feel like I'm on an island in a way. I don't really have a whole lot of people that um, are watching how I'm watching or who, who feel the eminency like I feel the eminency. And so, um, family... We're, we're told to encourage each other, so I'm calling on y'all for encouragement, and I'm calling on y'all for guidance. If anybody has any, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I'm praying for you all. God bless you, and talk soon. Bye-bye.